Okay, as you can see, we already installed here a drive wall. Okay, so if you look very carefully, we can see here, this is how electrical box, that's going to be the connection to the, to the stove or oven, 50 amps, and that's the way it's look now. Okay, then you can see here, there are four wires. This is the ground, this is the hot, this is the hot, and this is the neutral. That's called X, and that's called Y, I will, I will tell you in a second why. And that is the ground, that is neutral. Um, the voltage between both of them here, the potential, going to be 240 volt. And the potential between the hot and the neutral going to be 120 and 120. And the potential between the hot and the ground going to be 120, between that and that 120, and between this and this going to be zero. Okay, so that's uh, what I'm saying here. And I want to let you know, now we're going to see how we can connect this uh, box properly to the outlet. Okay, if you look carefully here, so what you're seeing here, you see a green, a green screw here. That is the, the ground, where the ground is going to be connected. And let's remember, that is the ground. So, one of the things that we're actually choosing a metal box is because of the ground, because a metal box can be grounded. And that's very important. So what you're, what you're seeing I'm doing here, I'm actually taking this wire, okay, that's the ground, and I just put it around, around this screw. Okay, I'll open the screw here. As you can see, this screw is open now. Okay. And my intention is to put this wire around the screw. Okay, that's it. So remember, it has to go with the club because now I have to lock it properly. So it's inside and now what I'm doing, I'm closing it. And you really need to lock it tight. Okay, so Here's the wire and I left that one because I want to connect this to the outlet, this wire. This is the outlet I'm going, 50 amps outlet I'm going to connect the wires to. As you can see in the front here, you have, difficult to see, but you have four, four holes. This is the ground, this two hot and this is neutral. Although I know when I'm going to flip it like that, you can see the green sign here. They tell you this is the ground, okay? And if you look carefully here, you want to see where it's natural, here it is the neutral. Okay, so if I look at it here, it also say to you neutral here. Or white, you actually write here. Let me try to see it. You write white or blanco. Here that's a white sign, I believe. Yes, that is a white sign here. And here is the X sign. So remember I talk about the X and Y. The X and Y, these are the two hats that you put here. It doesn't matter if the red or black, one of them. It doesn't matter the order. So you can put in the X the black and in the Y the red, the opposite. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, let's continue. So in addition to it, between these and these, you're going to have 240 volt. That's the 240, 50 amps. And between here and here, you're going to have 120, and for here and here, 120. So here, between these two points, that's the 240 volt that's going to your oven. And these wires, as you can see, here, are too long. They should be maybe 3 to 4 inch out of the box. And this, this uh, length is okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim them uh, using cutter. Let me show how. Okay, so we have here these three wires, and we're using this cutter, or plier, but the plier has a cutter, so I can go now and adjust trim it. Cutting one, two, and three, the same length. Okay. 
So what now I need to do is I need to expose uh, the wires, okay, at least not to connect it, I need to expose it and at least probably three quarter of an inch or half an inch. And I'm using a utility knife. I don't have the other cutter to, to do it. Um, it's not difficult, but it's a little dangerous. As you can see, it's already been exposed. And what you can do, you can use your finger here, your hand, and just see what I did. So that's that is the wire. So this wire to be exposed. Uh, probably half an inch. Some people use three quarter of an inch. I think half an inch is enough. Okay, so this wire is has been exposed, and I'm going to do the same thing to this wire, to the white, to the neutral. That's the heart, and to the another heart. Okay, so this is the second wire that I'm going to cut now. Remember. Three quarter of an inch to half an inch. It's okay. Okay, so so it's exposed already. Trim it a little bit, and you have a three quarter of an inch. Beautiful wire exposed. So here's the third one, which is the other heart, which is the black, three quarter of an inch. And it's already exposed. It can be cut very easily. Okay, so it's already gone. This piece. And that's it. So we have here three exposed wire, okay? Let's make sure that they are clean. Clear of insulation and this ground and four of these wires to be connected now to the outlet. Let me show how I'm connecting them to the outlet. So before I'm going to connect them, I just make sure that there is no piece of nylon here on these cables. And there is nothing here, everything is look clean and nice. As you can see here. Okay, so some people use special tools to cut these wires. And I don't have these tools. Uh, you can buy it in Home Depot probably. Uh, but you know what, utility knife for me, it's enough. It's, it's okay and uh, it does the job. So I wanted to show you the wires I'm looking for. Ah. Okay, if you look at from here, you can see three wires and the ground here. And these three wires probably two and a half inch or two inch out of the box. Okay, it cannot be more than that because you are going to have a very difficult to put the outlet inside this box. So what I want to say to you is that just make sure that the wire is not more than two and a half inch out of the box. Okay, because this wire is very, very difficult to, to, it's not flexible, it's very strong wires, carry 50 amps, so that's, uh, that's why you really need to be careful here. So that's the way it's look now, you can see all of them actually out of the uh, insulation exposed here, three quarter of an inch as it should, and we're going to connect it to the box. The box, you know, as you can see, there are four screws here, one, two, three, four. And the wire going to these holes, here's the ground and this is the neutral and that is the heart as we talked before. And they're going to this hole and then the screw is being going to attach it strongly to the outlet. So the first wire I'm going to connect is the ground here and as you can see I put it inside here. And I'm going to close the screw here as much as I can make sure that you attach properly okay so I already have one wire which is the ground connected okay and I'm going to connect 
the x, the red actually. So this uh, what is called outlook. You can actually move it a little bit here and make sure the wire is going in. So what I'm doing here, I'm actually going to open a little bit this screw all the way and put this wire in. See? And now I'm going to just close it. Now you really want to put the wire until the end. You don't, you don't want to see the exposure. Okay, so I already close it quite strong. So you can see now, there are two wires here connected. The red connected to the Y and the ground connected to the ground here. Okay, and I can connect these two wires, the neutral, okay, and the hot here. This is the hot and this is the neutral. Okay, so now we have to connect the hot, the X actually here, to this hole here. I'm just going to open it. much as I can and push it in strongly see I push it in strongly and then I'm just going to close quite tight this wire however you really need to close it tight okay so then the last left is the neutral which is going to be here and the wire is going to pull it just to open the and just push it in as I push it in you can see and then close it as fast as you can and tight so that's it this one, this connection has been done, we just, we just need to push it. I just want to show from close proximity the way it looks. So this is from close proximity and as you can see here, if we go here you can see this is the hot, the black which is connected to the X and this is the Y which is the red. It doesn't matter uh, if it's X or Y. This is the ground connected to the ground and this is the neutral connected to the neutral and remember the ground also connected, this ground connected also to the green screw here in the box as you can see here, it's very very important. The box have to be grounded otherwise you in really risk to electrocute it. So that's, the, that's why we're using a metal box here that we can ground the box. So after we connected the wires here, as you can see, remember, we have to push this box inside. Okay, you see what I'm doing? I'm just pushing it to this location. And we have screws here that we should use. There are two screws here, okay, that come. If you look at these screws, is coming from the manufacturers, okay? So here's the first screw here. I'm going to use a screwdriver here. I'm just going to attach the first one here and then the second one. I'm going to apply it on the bottom. We got to see from here. As you can see, I managed to attach it with two screws. You don't need more than two screws. I'm going to drive the screw with, with a drill wheel. Okay, and the job to connect this outlet here is completed. 
what I want, I want to show you from a close distance how it looks like. So if you can see here, so this is the first screw and that is the second screw is here already. Difficult to see but you can see it, it's here. And that's the way it's actually attached and actually flash with the sheet work. It should be flash with the sheet work here, as you can see. And the only thing we want to test now, we want to test if the ground is connected to the ground. Because remember, we need to ground the metal here. That's the most important. Because that's the reason we actually put outlet from metal. Otherwise, we can use plastic. So in order to test, to test to see if the ground is connected to the metal here, which means the metal is grounded in electrical definition, what we're going to do, we're going to put it here and we're going to test to see if the resistance is zero. Remember, when I'm going to connect these two wires together, the resistance should be zero because that's the resistance of these wires, okay? Zero. So what I'm doing here now, I'm going to put it here, I hope you're going to see it, and I'm going to push one of the connector to here and the other connector to here. You can see if I'm doing it here, you can see it's volt is zero. That's meaning that the metal is grounded and that's a very important uh, it's very important to verify it.